So today in this video, we're going to be troubleshooting a E-153 on a duct S unit. An E-153 is a float switch error. Uh, if you do get an E-153 on startup, there's a couple of things that you need to make sure you check. Uh, one most importantly, the unit is installed right side up. If you look at this port as a gravity drain port, it should be on the bottom. Also your nameplate will be on the bottom of the unit. And if you move up here, these little tabs up here should always be at the top. Um, so just be cautious and aware um, that the unit is installed right side up. Uh, the second issue is during transportation, it's possible that a float switch gets stuck in the up position. If you kind of just tap the side of the unit, you can normally get that float switch to drop. Um, I'll show you to check continuity on the float switch here in just a moment to uh, verify your float switch is closed. Um, therefore, we shouldn't have the error occurring. So we're going to move to the board here. Uh, there's two plugs we're going to be working with today. Uh, this black plug with the black and white wire is your float switch. And this yellow plug with the black and red wire is your pump. So to start out for testing purposes, I've already powered down the unit for 15 minutes to allow the board to discharge. Um, you're going to want to do the same. Uh, we're going to go ahead and unplug the float switch and we're going to check continuity on the float switch to verify it's closed. So if you look here, uh, you're going to need some small leads or pointy leads. Uh, in this case, I have a set of micro leads, which I highly recommend. Uh, you could use a piece of strand of thermostat wire or maybe even some small paper clips uh, to get in here to do a good test. Uh, we're going to put our meter in continuity. Uh, for this exercise, we're using a filled piece meter. In continuity, we're just checking open or closed. It's a normally closed float switch. Got to get the meter set up to work on that small of a plug. All right, if you look at the meter, we are closed. So the float switch is closed, that's good. Uh, if you check there and you don't get continuity, the float switch is open. And we need to start checking to see if the drain pan is full, the pump stopped working, uh, there's any debris clogging the pump, or there is a clog in your drain piping going to your main drain. Okay, now I showed you how to check the float switch. Now we're going to verify if we're getting power to the pump and the pump is working. So we're going to be measuring DC volts here in the back of this plug. We're looking for 12 volts DC. So let's see what we got here. And we have zero volts. In this scenario, we have a bad main board. Uh, if you are getting 12 volts there and your pump is not working, then you have a bad pump. But in this scenario, we have a bad main board and we would replace our main board. For service manuals and other documentation, please visit our website at samsunghvac.com or use our Samsung HVAC mobile app to download any technical documentation. Thank you.